Israelites cannot understand that. They find it more advantageous to stand on a corner, isolated, and, and argue about a Hebrew language they don't understand and neither can they speak fluently. That's more important to them. And this is why the Bible says, if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. You men and women, this, and this is for you new group, this, you new Israelites just coming in. You're looking at these stupid videos, then saying, why well, don't you say the name Yahshua or Yahushua? It's really Yahushua. That's the name you be focusing because you see these dummies out there trying to make a doctrine that if you don't say it, the Lord's not going to save you. It's based upon faith, the way we speak it, is based upon faith. Scholars that say, oh, it's spoken this way and always oh, spoken that way and it's pronounced this way and it's pronounced that way. The way we speak it is based upon faith. The way we speak it is based upon faith. The way we speak it is based upon faith. When you say the Most High's name, Yahweh, and his son's name, Yahweh Shai. Now you got other people that say it slightly different. They'll, instead of saying Yahweh Shai, they'll say Yoshua. Now could we be wrong? Yeah, we could be wrong. But the BBHI, the black, bum, bum black Hebrew Israelites said they already got the name. So they don't need It's based upon faith. The way we speak it is based upon faith. That's the name right there. Yahweh. The four characters that, like I showed you earlier, one second, we're going to go back to that. This is what you're reading in the Hebrew. The Yahweh. The tetragram derived from that. They're the ones calling on the name of the Lord. Read. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? So, but how can you call on the name of the Lord if you have not believed on the Lord? The true Lord of that the Bible's talking about. Okay. About a black man. We found out who's going to be saved, who's going to be calling on the name of the Lord. 144,000 of the nation of Israel. They have their father's name written in their minds. Yahweh. So we're the ones calling on the name of the Lord. Read. Okay, one kingdom. Okay, so now when we go out and we're teaching you, you must call on the name of the Lord. Yahweh. In truth, in spirit and in truth. And what is his son's name? Now this is the topic we're getting into now. And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. If thou canst tell. Has, have you researched? Okay, we're going to prove the name of the son now. The name of the son is Yahweh Shah. 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 144,000 of the nation of Israel. They have their father's name written in their minds. Yahweh. So we're the ones calling on the name of the Lord. Read. The name of the son is Yahweh Shah. The name of the son is I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Hachwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. That's peace to the elect. Peace to the elect. Okay. Um, before I get started, there was um, some Jake who left a comment on my video, pr uh, previous video, talking about Nate and the name. Okay. So I didn't really know what was really going on till I saw the videos going up about uh, Nathaniel Seven or Bishop Nathaniel. One of his names. You know, we can see why he don't call on the Lord's name because he doesn't even got his own name right. Anyway. Uh, I just wanted to touch on it real quick. A couple things he said. Videos always say it all. This man is double-minded. Um, the scriptures also say the um, the heathen is basically uh, terrified of his name. So this 
bring something on Nate. You know, I mean, he it doesn't look like he's coming around. Okay, he's fighting for that Christ. And what I don't understand um, is why would a man fight to keep a heathen name on our Lord? You know, that is crazy. Uh, he says, well, don't make it a doctrine. Well, it is the doctrine. Um, this man is in violation of the first commandment. Let's get this in Mark. Let's go to Mark, the 12th chapter. Looks like about the 29th or 30th verse. Okay. Um, let's go to the, um, the 29th verse. This is Mark 12 and 29. It says, and Jesus answered him. And see, this is the problem with this word Jesus, you know. You think the elites is really going to put that in the scriptures? The, I mean, the true name of the Lord in the scriptures? Nate has, uh, from the beginning, when he was in his right mind, before he sold out, I believe, he was able to teach the name of the Lord and grasp the image of the Lord first, Right? the image and the name somehow he gave back the name and kept the image you know which doesn't make sense if I have a driver's license you're not going to give me a name of my image with someone else's name that means that person could commit all kind of violations and my image that name will go with my image and this is what happened to the one you call uh, Jesus Yahweh Yahweh the true name of, of the Most High Son. Okay? And what they managed to do is take another image, take the image and put a, a falsehood name on the, on the Most High Son. Okay? That's what happened. And he's committed all kind of abominations with that name. That is the first thing you should get rid of. Okay? And Jesus answered him, Yahweh answered him, The first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay? Now, uh, there was somebody who came on my page prior also and said, Well, he has many names. Many names, as Nate tried to say. He got all kinds of names. You know, those are titles. You have a father and your, and your mother. But your father and your mother does have a title. I mean, does have a name. The father and mother is just a title uncle such and such brother sister titles but they all do have a name right you do not exclude the name anyway verse 30 and thou shalt love the Lord thy God that power with all thy heart and with all thy soul with all thy mind and with all thy strength this is the first commandment Nate talks about the first commandment the first commandment love Love the Lord. You follow the commandments. That's all we have to do is follow the commandments. That's the first thing he always say, right? Well, the first commandment is loving the Lord with all your heart and your strength. You mean to tell me if you're a parent and your son or daughter, whoever, calls you some name from something down somewhere else, you know, some abominable name, okay, or, or unknown name, you're going to get upset about that. So I can't see how Nate is loving the Lord with all his heart and strength with his mind. I can't see. And a lot of those IUIC guys, some of them are sincere. This group has had all kinds of crazy things going on in this camp. You know? All kinds of sicknesses and crazy things that we all see keeps popping up back and forth in the camp. I'm not going to go into that. You know? Because I don't want to you know, stir up old old things, but it all comes kind of come together. If you're not coming in the name of the Lord, this is your problem. Okay? You know, all kind of lewd pictures and things floating around in that community. You know, it's sick. You know? But this is all because you're not coming in the name of the Lord. Okay? So he goes to Revelation 3 and 12. It says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. Okay. Let me see. Okay. The temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him. The name of my God. And the name of the city of my God. 
which is a new Jerusalem. Check that out right there. The new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, right? From the Most High God, Yahweh. The new Jerusalem, starting with the, uh, uh, um, let me go and say uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, the one you call Jesus, Yahweh Shai, under the house of David, okay? Now, it goes on to say, and I will write upon him my new name. Okay, now when you look up that word and you go into the the, uh, the understanding of the word, uh, that new name would be the new, this was explained in the new Jerusalem, okay, coming down. Okay, being renewed, when you look that up, it says being renewed, basically. Uh, new leadership. And let's say he's going to give us a new name. Let's say it's going to be some kind of other name I'm not going to mock any names I'm just saying let's say it come it's another name we are to we are supposed to te hold fast to what we've been taught and hold dearly to the name and come out of the ways of Edom okay that's a name he put on us you know and if you could clear your name up you're supposed to clear mainly the name of your leader okay your lord okay the most high the, the almighty most high you know, and his son. See, a lot of you people, you just want to make excuses because you you don't want to feel like that you have done something wrong. Everybody, you know, a lot of people have pride. They stick to a group or they stick to what they believe. And it's not really because they believe it. They just don't want to believe that they're wrong. And sometimes you got to dig deep and pray to the Lord. You know, this is John 10 and 13. The hireling fleeth because he is in hireling. A hireling is someone that's hired, you know, by the devil himself. Okay? This is why I believe he sold out, man. He was hired. That's why he fleeth now, okay? You know? That's why you see all the purpleness, all the colorfulness. Everything looks great. Everything looks in order. But at the end of the day, that don't make it righteous, okay? Even the, uh, the scriptures say Satan had transformed form himself to an angel of light. <laughs> so, and he cared not for the sheep. Okay, so if you really cared for the sheep, you wouldn't be pushing that doctrine. You wouldn't be pushing to, uh, to, to just call the Lord whatever you want. You're supposed to be a Hebrew. We're supposed to be Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, Yasha Allah. You know? And you want to keep regress and keep a Greek name on our Lord, but get, just keep yourself. All the men around you got Hebrew names. They won't drop those names, though. See, that's what's not making sense. Why don't they drop those names? All those Hebrew names you guys got, you need to just drop them. Because you're not supposed to make it a doctrine. Aren't you making it a doctrine when you're taking your regular worldly name and turning it to Hebrew? And then, but yet, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you said you don't have to call him that? That's because of this Lyndon Baines Johnson, okay? They tell you in their 501c3 what you can say and what you can't say. We see other groups that got that 501c3. They'll call out Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, but mainly you'll see him Christ, Christ. They'll keep saying Christ. Why would you want to be associated with something like that? That's just something to think about, man. That's all I have on that, Shalom.